there are people in the medical world right now that are saying enough is enough. The, the way to fix this now, we've reached a point where we must move to herd immunity. So let people catch it. That is a, a smaller number of medical officials, but they are medical doctors and scientists. Your thoughts on that? So people are people, and, um, you know, they have their own uh, uh, motivations for it. Um, you know, again, I, I point to what would happen if, uh, if a large undifferentiated population uh, was infected with this disease. And number one, we know that people with comorbidities and, with, uh, and who are older are going to have severe disease and are going to die. Number two, and a significant portion of them are going to uh, die. Number two, we know that there's going to be a very, a, a significant number of people who are going to get sick enough to need hospital care, and some of those will need to be placed into the intensive care unit. And if you infect 300 million people with a virus, and you know that the, that, you know, 5% or somewhere between 5 and 10% are going to, are, are going to need um, hospital level care, yep. let's say 10% because the numbers are easier, that's 30 million people that would need to be in a hospital. The hospital system in the United States cannot take in a very short period of time 30 million patients. The, the care that can be provided, would not, the care that would be needed could not be provided right. given that huge demand and, and the requirements. So people would end up uh, with more severe disease and potentially dying than who would normally die if you can keep if you can keep numbers low and controllable until we get to a point where we have a treatment or a vaccine excellent treatment yep. Yep. or a vaccine.